Hey everyone, this video is about Onshape, the CAD tool we use to design and model the Dark Arrow 1. We've been using Onshape for five years now at Dark Arrow, and I want to tell you more about what our experience has been like using Onshape for that long. The quick summary of that story is that when we first adopted Onshape, it was a really good tool for the job. Since then, it's only gotten better, and over time we found ourselves using it in ways that we didn't initially expect that we would. Full disclosure, we do have a brand relationship with Onshape, but this has been a recent development. We were using Onshape for several years before any of that came about, and that history is what I wanna talk about. If you're new to our story, I'm Riley. My brother's Keegan, River and I started a company called Dark Arrow, and over the past several years, we've been engineering a new airplane called the Dark Arrow One. It has a unique combination of speed, range, and efficiency, and it's a kit plane, meaning that pilots can build it in their garage and then hop in and fly it. When we started out, we were looking for 3D modeling software to help us out in the design process. We were already familiar with a bunch of different CAD tools from our years doing engineering in industry. So we initially started out using what we were used to, which was desktop-based CAD. One day, Keegan came across this new cloud-based CAD program called Onshape that you could run through an internet browser. This was back in 2016, so the concept was pretty new to us at the time, but we were open to trying new things. So we signed up for a trial version of Onshape to test it out and see how it performed. After about two weeks, we really liked it and we actually ended up switching over from our desktop-based CAD to Onshape's cloud-based CAD. Now, I said we liked it, but at the time, this still felt like a little bit of a leap into the unknown. What were we getting ourselves into trying to design our airplane in an entirely cloud-based CAD program? Was it legit? Could you actually design an aircraft in Onshape? What if Onshape went away? What if they lost their files? We had our concerns, but I can say that after five years using Onshape, none of the bad things we were worried about actually happened. Really, it's just been an awesome tool to work with, and it's become a cornerstone of what we do. Okay, so going back to the beginning, what was it like for us learning the program? Well, learning Onshape is actually pretty easy because they have so many instruction guides and tutorials available. All the normal CAD functionality we wanted was there, like assemblies with motion or sheet metal or surfacing. No issues there. The hardest part for me was actually unlearning some habits I developed using other CAD programs. It might seem silly, but it actually took me a while to get used to not clicking the save button. Everything you do in Onshape is saved as part of the design history, so there is no save button. It's like Google Docs, it's all saved. There were other things to get used to, but in a good way, I quickly learned to like Onshape's multi-part part studios. So anytime you're designing parts, they're typically going to have geometric relationships with other parts. And Onshape makes this so easy to do with their part studios that at this point, I wouldn't want to do it any other way. I want to highlight one of the most distinct features of Onshape, though, which is that it's entirely cloud-based. This was one of the big pieces that initially sold us on Onshape, but we didn't realize how important it was in the beginning. I didn't really think about accessibility back when I was doing design work in a cubicle tied to a desktop-based CAD program, but after switching to Onshape and having the ability to access my designs and files wherever I went, I started accessing them wherever I went. Initially, this was just working on designs going back and forth between the workshop and home, and then I was working on design work during downtime while I was traveling, and then I was pulling up my designs when I was visiting suppliers. A really good example of that was this past fall when we were working through the process of outsourcing our canopy manufacturing. The canopy for the Dark Arrow One was made by a supplier in Ohio, and I made a number of trips back and forth to their facility to meet with them in person and better understand how we could make tooling that would work with their process. And every time I was there, I would just pull out my phone, open up the Onshape app and check dimensions, show the supplier our canopy geometry and make small tweaks to our mold design. I can't tell you how many times this has come in handy. It's just really useful to be able to have access to your designs right in your pocket. And at this point, I don't think I'd be able to go back to a traditional desktop-based CAD program and lose this functionality. Over time, we started using this accessibility in more ways that we didn't originally foresee. The best example of this is how we started incorporating Onshape into our build instructions for our customers. Typically, kit aircraft are built with stacks of two-dimensional assembly drawings and this definitely works because there are thousands of kit aircraft that have been built this way, but we realized that we could potentially improve things for our customers by incorporating our 3D CAD models into the build experience. 
With Onshape being cloud-based, it means not only can we access our designs from anywhere, but so can our customers. And they don't need a license of Onshape to do so. You can go on our website today, right now, and check out some 3D CAD models that we've shared and start learning about the build experience for the Dark Arrow 1. Here's an example for the engine that we're using in the Dark Arrow 1. Here's the horizontal stabilizer for the aircraft. Go take a look, check these models out for yourself. Onshape being cloud-based has made things easy over the years because it's always up to date. There is no worrying about, oh, I have Onshape 2017 or Onshape 2021. It's all just Onshape as far as I'm concerned. Yes, there are versions, but I don't have to think about that because when you log into your account, you're automatically in the latest version. And you're not waiting for annual updates to see new features or functionality. It's more like every couple weeks. And I've personally requested new features be added and I've seen them show up in the software a few weeks later. Another thing I've come to appreciate over the last five years is no longer worrying about my files. A good way to think about this is to compare your CAD files to money. Everyone understands that if you wanna protect your money, you put it in the bank. And if you've ever had a large amount of cash physically in your hands, it's actually sort of terrifying because you could lose that money, it could get stolen, or it could get burnt up in a fire. And that's basically what we were doing with our CAD files when we started our company. Uh, yes, we had backups, but there was this constant worry about creating backups and then maintaining that data. But ever since moving our CAD files to the cloud with Onshape, I've let go of that worry. Our data is way more secure in the cloud with Onshape than it ever would be on a physical hard drive or on any kind of server that we could create. I won't go into all the details of how this works, but basically Onshape servers are the same type that the US Department of Defense uses. And putting your files on the cloud is like putting them in the bank. We also had some initial concerns of what if our internet is slow, wouldn't Onshape be slow? But I've also let go of that worry as well. I've used Onshape in a lot of different locations on a lot of different internet connections from rural Wisconsin to big cities to internationally as far away as China, and it's worked everywhere. If you've made it this far, you can probably tell from me gushing about Onshape that I'm more than happy with the tool and what it's allowed us to accomplish over the last several years, and we're gonna keep using it. I truly see cloud-based CAD as the way of the future, and I'm really hoping to see other kit aircraft manufacturers adopt it because of the benefits I think it can bring to the industry. There's a frontier that exists in experimental aviation that we're trying to push forward, and this is one of the tools that's helping us do that. If you want to learn more about Onshape, I'll leave some links in the description of this video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.